Greetings, Guardian. I am focusing my will, preparing myself to step into the ritual space once again. When I first transformed, I thought I might become something greater. Instead, my doubts fell away and I found myself simplified. Refined. Though I became Hive, I was more... myself. I mentioned that to Ikora and she furrowed her brow. I told her she would have time to worry later. But now, I need tithes. Sword logic may be high philosophy, but your tithes of power are real. And when I absorb them, it feels... like hope. Fight in my name, Guardian. Every opponent you defeat strengthens me, from Shaxx's crucible to Savathun's own throne world. The Hive believe that only the strongest have earned their existence. If a queen cannot hold her power, she must be betrayed. I will not deny them their dogma. I will embody it. The sword logic, the impetus of the hive. Oryx, the Taken King, brother to Savathun and Zivu Arath, sought whispers from the worms of fundament and dredged this truth from the deep. All things must prove their right to exist. The rest will die in terror. There is neither escape, nor exemption. Simple. Essential. Beautiful to know. Oryx led his sisters down the bladed path. We have tested ourselves against horrors. We emerge... changed. Through this, we become stronger. We become free. We will avail ourselves of our enemy's tools. Zivu Arath believes every death proves the sword logic. That she unveils the false shape of the Traveler's lie by her blade. But she needs her truth. She is desperate for its vindication. She wishes for a world without grief, or pity, or doubt. Not baleful, not beautiful. A childish cry. The Hive call us liars, the unfree, deniers of the all-edged truth. But I take the power the sword logic offers not out of desperation, but desire. For Crota. Oryx. Savathun. I wield their killers as a knife. The Hive know this truth as well as any logic. I am here, and they are not. Aya. Oh, yeah. 